With just one week uh, until the Democratic National Convention, security officials are preparing for possible retaliatory attacks against Democrats after former President Donald Trump was shot last month. Let's discuss now with someone who knows the underworld of political violence all too well, former FBI informant Joe Moore. He went undercover inside the KKK and even helped stop a planned assassination of former President Barack Obama. He's recounting these experiences in his new book, White Robes and Broken Badges. Uh, Joe, it's a very important book. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. I do want to ask you a little bit about your book in, in a moment, but uh, a threat assessment released by the FBI and Homeland Security says, quote, individuals in some online communities have threatened, encouraged, or referenced uh, acts of violence in, in response to the attempted assassination. Uh, obviously, we should note uh, there hasn't been any political motive uh, established for uh, the, the man who tried to uh, kill Donald Trump at that rally last month. But what do you think is driving this rise in political violence, what we're seeing uh, on the far right, for example, these days? There are a lot of online communities that are associating with one another a sort of cross membership between these organizations. However, it's not all online. There are geographical and generational connections to the hate that many of these groups are part of. And with the advent of social media and other avenues, they're able to connect with one another. And these organizations are able to grow and I guarantee you that it's more than just individuals that are discussing these activities. I am certain that there are organizations that are discussing this, this sort of violence. And your book looks at how the alt-right, as it's been called by some, and white supremacists infiltrate the political and legal worlds to reach their goals. Uh, what, what have you uncovered? Uh, how does your life experience uh, you know, affect uh, your thinking on this? What do you think? I uncovered local, county, and state level law enforcement officers that were active members of the KKK and were essentially using their positions in law enforcement to assist KKK activities. And unfortunately, many officials were not willing to recognize how prevalent and consequential these activities were, and I was able to actually gather the facts for the FBI. And when you see Trump uh, dining with white nationalist Nick Fuentes at Mar-a-Lago, questioning the racial identity of Vice President Harris, uh, how much fuel to the fire does that add? That is absolutely a green flag to the white movement and the white nationalist movements. Furthermore, it's not always what you see, it's what you don't see that could certainly indicate what the issue is. What I don't see are the bookend statements by the campaign in order to dictate to these organizations that they are not welcome, their activities are not appreciated. And how worried are you that we could see some of these white nationalist groups uh, being involved in uh, movements to overturn the election like they did four years ago? I mean, one of the things that we saw on January 6th, the Proud Boys, Oath Keepers, groups like that. In 2015, when I came out to prosecute several cases, the KKK nationally was essentially decimated. And many of those members went to other like-minded organizations. So mm -hmm. I know that a lot of those alt-right organizations contain former clan members, and there's a lot of ideological similarity between them. Furthermore, in secret, they really do discuss using violence as a method to sort of take over the country. And many of these organizations say publicly that they're simply using their First Amendment rights. However, they have to say that in order to cover for the violence that they truly intend to employ. Yeah, well, it's chilling stuff. Uh, and Joe, we're gonna check out your book uh, to learn more about all this, Joe Moore. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. The author of White Robes and Broken Bag uh, Badges, very important book uh, from Joe Moore. Um, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it.